What's up YouTube? Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. First and foremost, I hope you guys have all had a safe and happy holiday season, specifically Merry Christmas. Um, it is not New Year's yet, so I hope you haven't had a good New Year's yet. Otherwise, I'm way behind the times. Uh, today on Shop Talk, we're going to be talking about why keeping spindles turning is the only thing that matters, or should be when you're planning your strategy. Um, I've kind of touched on this a little bit before, but it's something I find very, very important and it's something that I need to keep focused on sometimes as well. When you're planning your business strategy, when you're you know starting to plan out your marketing, when you're getting involved in design stuff, it's very easy to forget the most important thing. And that's that if spindles are not turning, you are not making money, period. Or substitute spindles turning for wire EDM cutting or substitute spindles turning for brake presses, brake pressing, I don't know. If you do not have your machines running, in my case, spindles turning, you are not making money. Everything you do should be focused on getting spindles turning, keeping spindles turning as many hours of a day as you can, and getting more turning at once. When you hire somebody, you should be hiring them because they can either add something to your business that's gonna get more spindles turning, uh, whether they can add new capabilities to your shop, which will get more spindles turning, whether they're hired for a night shift so they can get spindles turning longer, whether you need to keep another machine running so they're getting spindles turning. Do you understand what I'm saying here? If they're in sales, you want them to be going out to get you work to get more spindles turning, period. Everything needs to come down to that. If at any point in your business you have work to be run, there is you know, a job sitting on the floor and there's not a spindle turning and there's somebody that can be turning it who's doing something else, you know, obviously there are some circumstances involving this, that spindle needs to be turning first. That should be your first priority when it comes to everything. The reason I come back to this is because it's very, very easy to get caught up in going through your marketing and you know, you've spent three days developing spreadsheets on, you know, contact lists and phone numbers and emails and you're going through your Scott's directory and you're trying to find work. Meanwhile, you haven't paid attention to the fact that your customers that you do have, you haven't been attending to them. You have work on the floor, their spindle's not turning. You have machines powered down while guys are cleaning. Um, you know, cleaning is important. Cleaning while spindles are turning is more important. I really can't hammer this home enough. If at any point you are doing something that does not directly get spindles turning, there's a good chance you're either wasting your time or you're taking a risk. Um, obviously, you know, there are things that you have to do in your business like running your QuickBooks and, um, you know, chasing up money and stuff that's not gonna directly involve spindles turning. If you own your business, you probably should not be going and getting spindles turning yourself all the time. That said, that is what you need to keep on top of. Um, it's a very basic concept, but I think especially this time of year, you know, as we look forward to 2018, and um, you know, we're kind of getting to a point where a lot of people are reflecting on the, on the last year that just passed. We're looking towards what we can do to improve next year. When you're planning out this next year, keep that first and for, right in the front of your mind get spindles turning, key spindles turning, everything else will come for that. In my opinion, it's better to have your spindles turning making you $5 an hour, making profit, than not making you any money at all. Um, you know, a lot of guys will say, well, I won't even make shop rate on that job. Yeah, but if you're at a spot where you need to get some money going through the shop, sometimes you just need to rinse cash through the shop, right? Your spindles are turning, that machine is going. If you have a machine that's sitting there powered on and not running, it is costing you money versus making you money. If you're not making chips, that machine is costing you money. Um, it's costing you hydro. The more on time a machine has, the sooner it's gonna need service. I could go on. If you do not have your spindles turning, that's what you need to focus on. Um, I hope I haven't hammered this home too much to the point where I've just been repeating myself for the last three minutes, but it's possible. Um, that said guys, good luck in the year coming ahead. If you have any questions, you can always email me at e or sorry my email here is let's machine at gmail.com all one word no periods no nothing um obviously you can leave me comments below let me know your thoughts on this you know is this strategy too basic uh is this strategy not basic enough let me know your thoughts okay if you want to see more videos make sure you like and subscribe below thanks for watching thanks for watching guys you take care